to make our worst enemy now, this morning, Halloween. <laughs> and then oh. Sunday, I'm <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> Jesus said, 
that is that strong. Why we continue to dress up and, and go, you know, put on candies and, and dress like a weed to Paige, to be scared and Paige to go to those houses and like spend money, a lot of money, candy. Is that wrong? So, who is that? Who's making that up? So, never.
I challenge you to be careful. We stay standing with Jesus, with God, together with Him. Do you understand? We can go around and we can get, uh, we can witness about, get the opportunity to witness about Jesus. You know, anything that you feel comfortable. So, if you feel that you cannot, do not want to get involved, that's fine. That is okay. <laughs> Turn your lights off and, you know, leave them alone. And they would not come to the door. And you're going to say, no, I don't want to be the candy. I don't want to participate in this. That's a good idea if we make candy with a, a Bible verse and we give to the kids. Okay, that's a good idea. So, I want to give you the information. <coughs> Different uh, beliefs of Halloween that uh, oh. the Halloween spending, yeah. Halloween is the, the facility that uh, gets the most amount of money. And most of the money should be. Uh, three or four different articles that says that, <coughs> that perfectly, but it, I want to make it clear that, mm -hmm. that uh, the spending with candy that maybe it's wrong, but wow. <laughs> the most amount of money in Christmas that people spend for Christmas is twice more they spend in Halloween. If you disagree with me, I encourage you to go and search and challenge me. You know, you can bring that next week and you can, you know, challenge and inform me. If I'm wrong, I wish to be wrong. I don't want to be wrong. But, wow, I, I was shocked to see the amount of spending. <laughs> um, Billy almost goes fishing on that. Uh, <laughs> so, wow, it's, it's the most amount of money, you know, that people would have said, uh, keep the profit of the church. They're going to sell our costumes and come out for Christmas. So, if you are a Christian, <coughs> you okay, Halloween, the store seven pumpkins. Okay, another question. Why Halloween? Okay, when did that start? Do you know why that was happening? Okay, I want to inform you about Clara was reading some article about another country <coughs> and the spirit in another country. Okay, it goes on and on and on. God. Okay. I have another story. Halloween is from. It started a long time ago. Uh, the Catholic Church that started All Saints Day. So the night before, all you know is the All Hallows Eve. So man, a long time ago, people thought that the, the spirits of the dead would be going around and following people. 
the night before of All Saints Day, that we must be quiet. So they changed this for the kids that would, you know, dress up in costumes and go around, you know, collect money. Or I would I would do something bad to you if you don't give me. But they did that for fun. But now all saints all saints day, everybody forgot about it. So Halloween was what is left.
dive into the research. <coughs> it's a lot of histories, a lot of things, but I was going to summarize it. You know, the, self, the subjects is that group, um, and they, the pagan belief that people that died, their spirits would rise and, and walk around, and they want to distance themselves. But this was their belief, right? So that is how the Halloween started. Is that okay? So now we're going to change. Okay, now the trouble about the you know people that died and rose again, that's not real. A person died. It, they're going to go home and they're going to have a funeral, they're going to have a celebration of this person that just died and they are buried and we move on. They are under the ground. They are buried there and we move on. We don't need to be praying and, you know, going to be aware about where the spirit goes. You know, it's it's really not, you know. Walk, walking dead. Yeah, walking dead. Walking dead, yes, So, zombies <laughs> or dead. It's not zombies, it's walkers. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> those movies where, you know, <laughs> that they could go and attack them. You know, by the people and others, the people die as well. So this is all make believe. This is not true. Jesus, in the Bible, in this book, say anything about dead. Keep the dead rising again. Is that in the Bible? No. Only about Jesus coming back.
is not scary at all. Who is against you? So then we're going to have two.
too. So a longer time ago, the, those apples were fine, but now, you know, it's getting worse. So did you understand perfectly? Okay. Okay, you understand? I don't feel Clearly. right in uh -huh. getting involved in happening, supporting, helping. I don't want to do that. I want to turn my lights off. That is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. If you don't feel confident, just don't do it. You know, don't be guilty. Don't be, you know, trouble about it. Nobody going to punish you. Many people don't want to do that. There is nothing wrong with it. But many Christians, they, they are wise and they know their responsibility to be right with God. If you want to go ahead and get involved with Halloween, that's fine. But, but this other group that is worship Satan and that is practicing the witchcraft and killing animals and celebrating, no. That's, that's just stay away from it. That is really wrong. God is not pleased with that. I am not going to get involved. Is that understood? Did everybody understand? Please, be safe and be wise. I protect your children. Hey, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the laws. Wow. Uh, people that go out for Halloween and a variety of things, we pray, we pray that they are safe and they, that you can strengthen them, <coughs> that you can allow them to be wise and stand up for you and look up to you and love you and fellowship and witness the gospel. Halloween is for, you know, the explanation that we gave 